Okay, I call this lesson putting it all together. What this example is going to do is take a lot of the ideas we've done for the last week plus the new stuff called Action Script and put together a sort of an opening screen that you might have for a website. Let me give you an example. So as you can see, you're going to have multiple images appearing, maybe disappearing in different orders, and then it stops. And then this, when you pressed it, would go to another scene or screen on your website. All right, so we want to work on something like that. Now, some people uh, over the years have put together some actually neat ones, and I want to show you a couple of them before I uh, show you the technique. Here's one that I really like. has a nice background, it does a little bit of animation there, and then the words appear, and then you press this, and this would go to the next page. Here's another one that I, I really like. This one has a little bit of sound effects in it. Okay, and then you, again, get that little button there, and you can go to the next scene. Okay, it's just a couple of different ideas. So, how do you do this kind of stuff? So let me start off, and we'll press new like we usually do. And always pick action script too. And we start off with a blank screen. So what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to say something like "Welcome to my website" or something like that. Okay. And remember, each separate animation should be on its own layer. So we'll start off, and we'll do this. is going to be called the welcome layer. This is going to be the first one we're going to do. And we'll type some words in here. And those are way too big of a font, so we'll slide it down, and then we'll uh, move it down here. Okay, so the first word welcome is going to start from the top, and um, I'll pick a blue color, and we'll type in welcome. Okay, and you can make it obviously bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do, and this is going to be right about there. Now, like you always do, you always grab the whole thing, click modify, convert to symbol. This will be our movie clip. Okay. So that's going to start from the top, and then around 20, we'll press F6, and then we'll make the word go down to about halfway. All right. Now it's not tweened yet. Then you go in between, you right click, and you pick classic tween. All right. And then what it does is it moves all the way down like that. Now there's a couple of features you can do when it goes down. Maybe you want it to flip around. Then you go in the middle somewhere, go over to the right and pick rotate and now as I just scrub it you see that it's flipping as we go down other things you can do I'm gonna put myself at 20 and I can stretch this thing so it's bigger alright so it starts off small and grows big another thing that I can do is I could change the color of it so I could have it start one color blue and at the end I'm gonna go click on it and then I'm going to go to this thing called style and I'm going to change the tint and pick red and pick green you can pick whatever you like so it starts off blue and it goes green okay so that's our first that's our first one okay so now that was welcome and then we're going to say to my so this is going to be the to my layer all right and I'm going to type in the word and I have this one come down from the, the bottom so I'm going to put to my, all right, and like we always do, you, you grab it, you go up to modify, convert to symbol, and this is the to my uh, Tommy uh, movie clip, okay? So this one's going to go all the way up. Now, if you notice, both of these, when you play them, and I'll just play it for a sec, that word is on the screen at the same time as my welcome. I don't like that. I don't want my second thing to show up until the first one sort of like done its first phase. So here's the trick to do that. You click on that little black dot, which is called a keyframe, and then you keep your finger down on the mouse and you drag, 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 drag till there. Okay? Now watch when I play it this time. It only shows up at the very, very end. All right, and if I scrub it, you'll get a better idea what's going on. See, you don't see it, you don't see it, you don't see it, and now you see it. Okay, so that's called staggering your movie clip. So let's let's do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one, and we're going to have it go up. So it's going to be like, welcome to my. So um, let's go to about 40. I'm going to press F6, 
and I'm going to drag it about to there. Now you remember this disappears, right? The one underneath it. So you press F5 and there it is back. Okay. And now go back up here, right click, tween. So now let's scrub both of them. So it starts off welcome and then the other one appears to my and then I'm going to put it underneath that website. Okay, so here's our third and final layer for the animation. So I'm going to type in the word website. And like I did with the other ones, I'm going to start it off at the beginning. Now this one, I'll have it come in from the side. So I'll have it come in from like down here. Okay, and I'll type the word website. And like I've done in every other one, okay, hopefully you've gotten the hang of this. You grab the whole thing, you click convert to symbol, it's a movie clip, so you type website. Okay, looking good. Now again, like the other one, there's a problem. I don't want it starting at the beginning, so I click on this and I drag it to the very end, right there. And now I'm ready to go. So I'll go to around 60, I'll press F6, and I'll drag this to there. Okay, and again, like the other two, we lost those other two, so we press F5, F5, they're all back, and now I'm happy. Now you go in between, okay, so we're getting repetitious here, but hopefully you're starting to get the idea, and let's see this thing going now. So welcome, nice to my nice website, perfect, okay. Now when you play this, not bad, but then it doesn't ever stop, okay. So the next thing you got to do now is what's called a frame action. There's two places you can put computer code. You can put them right on buttons, which we're going to do in a sec, and you can put them right on these things right here, on those black things, and these are on the frames. Now, you wouldn't put the stop there, because that'd be stupid, because we haven't gotten to the end yet. So you always put it at the very, very, very end, and then you right click, you pick actions, and in a couple of seconds, this screen appears. This one, you could go over to the side and click on stuff, but it's easy, right? You press stop, and you're done. All right, let's play it. Control enter. And it stops. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue. Next stage now. We're going to need a new layer. This is going to be our button layer. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a button down here. And I showed you in class that uh, there's cool buttons that you could use if you want. All right. And you go to common libraries, buttons. And I like, well, there's tons of them. I liked the classic ones. I thought those were kind of cool. All right, and you can pick anything you like. Uh, that's kind of a cool one. And all you got to do is drag it. There it is. Okay, now you've got a button on the screen. And when you play it, it's there from the beginning. And again, I don't like that. I don't want the button to show up until the very end. So I'm going to grab that little black dot and drag it to the very end. So let's see. At the very end, you will see the button up here. There it is. Okay, so now... We're going to finish this off by having that button take me to another screen. So we've only been doing one screen. And if you notice right here how it says scene one, that's where all your scenes are, right? We're going to make a brand new scene. So to do that, what you do is you go to window and then down where it says other panels and then scene. All right. And I'll put it here in the middle so you can see it better. So that's scene one, which we already did. I'm going to press this little piece of paper here, and this is going to be scene two. I don't like that name, so I'm going to call it main or something like that. Okay, and we're ready to go. And you, if you're not sure what I mean, look, ready to go. What's going on? Well, now there's scene one. Okay, see how it says scene one there? And here's main, which is blank. And just to prove that we're on the main, I'm just going to scribble a word here. Okay to say that when we go there. Now what could you put on here? This would be maybe some images if you had a website or some explanation of some part of a, a site that you were working on, right? So you'd have your opening and then you'd go to your main site. Something like our school website does actually. We have our opening and we get to our main menu. Anyway, let's get that going then. So let's go back to scene one and now we have to put some intelligence in this button. Now buttons are a bit trickier to program. Remember how you do a button? You gotta right click and then you go to actions but this one you can't just start typing you can't just say go and do this you gotta do that thing called on release and then you put your mouse right there you press enter then you press enter again to make a big space there 
So this is a brand new word. We haven't done it too often. It's called go to and play. And this one you need two parts. You got to say the place you want to go to. I want to go to the main page. Comma one means start at frame number one. Now, it's really picky. So if you spelt main with a capital, you better spell it with a capital there. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so we get to the button. It's kind of cool button. You press it down and you let go. Oh, I think I saw it. Yeah, there it is, but it goes by so fast, I don't like that. So here's how you gotta fix that. You go to timeline and you go to main and right there, why don't we stop it when we get to that page? Type in the word stop, semicolon. All right, let's see if that helps. So this takes me to the next page and then it stops there. Good, okay? So that's from beginning to end, how you create a multi-scene sort of opening scene to a website. Now, can you add extra features? Sure you could. You could, and I'll show you a little trick here. You could add music to it. And the way that you add music is it's in that window thing that we were just in a few minutes ago, Common Library Sounds. Now you can find other sounds if you want. You can go on the internet, get WAV files, MP3s, whatever you want. And I don't know what looks good here. Let me just widen this a bit. And horror, scary, human, female screaming. That sounds pretty scary. Now watch. When you do this stuff with sounds, you got to make sure that you are on one of these black dots. Okay, so if you want the sound to start right at the beginning, you put yourself there. You want to start right at the end, you put yourself there. I'm going to start right at the beginning. And actually, we need something that's fairly long human crowd of ooze. That sounds interesting. So what I'm going to do is just put my finger down on that sound and drag it right on top. Now it doesn't actually go there. It goes right up here. See that little squiggly line in there? And let's see what it sounds like. Actually that's kind of cool. And then you press that and you go to there. Now you could have a better one with music and everything else. You might remember the first one I did in this video today had like a nice little background sound. So that was something I found on the internet and then I brought it into the library. Now if you were going to do that, remember the way you bring in pictures or anything else off the internet, you go to file and then you go to import to library. Okay. And just for fun for a second, let me just bring in a picture or something. Okay. So what this does is you go somewhere on your computer and you find a picture that you want. Let me just sneak in here and I'll grab something from our school website. I must have a picture or something that I could use. Uh, let's go in here, images, and I'll grab the crest. Okay, now it doesn't show up on the screen. Then you press F11, and that's your library, right? And then you grab whatever you need and you drag it in here. Now if it looks gigantic like that one does, you press this little thing here called the free transform tool, and you shrink it. Okay, as small as you want. And I'm gonna put it that corner. And then when you play it, now you got a graphic. Wasn't that cool? Did that flip around? I didn't actually program that in there, but it showed up like that, okay? So there is the graphic. It got stuck in one of the other things in there. Let me do it one more time. That's kind of neat, all right? Now, I wouldn't mind having the graphic just stay there. So see where it has the welcome, and I put it into the, the rotation thing. I could take it out of there, all right? And I could put it on its own layer and I think I will. I'll put it on layer 5 or whatever and I'm going to call that the uh, school uh, symbol. Okay, so if I put it on that layer and now I press F11 and I drag it in, that'll be on its own layer and I'll squish it down a bit. Okay, and we'll see what happens this time. So this time it doesn't get rotated. So I put it on the layer that was rotating and it went along for the ride. This time it just stays there and I like it that way better. And then you press that and it goes to that scene. Okay, so you're going to do an assignment like that and uh, you know maybe put some sounds in it, some nice graphics, maybe even a background to make it look nice. Okay, good luck guys.